So today we will be talking about the Dada art movement. So what is Dada really? Dada was an art movement in the early 20th century. Around 1915 in Zurich, Switzerland, when Hugo Ball founded the Cabaret Voltaire. Dada emerged as a response to the political climate during World War I. It was full of caricaturists and satirical art that rejected the modern world and traditional art. It centered around irrationalism through the creation of collages and new definitions of art. The art movement was anti-establishment and a destruction of bourgeois art and life. French artist Marcel Duchamp is one of the most famous Dada artists. Many of the modern and avant-garde movements, such as Fauvism and Cubism, inspired his work. He worked as a painter but quickly moved to critiquing traditional art with his ready-made objects. He used everyday objects that were mass-produced to question the idea of art and whether an artist has to hand-make objects in order for it to be considered art. Fountain is one of Marcel Duchamp's most popular works. He takes a urinal and claims it to be art. Same with The Bicycle Wheel and Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, where he appropriates the traditional renowned work, now with a mustache. Art is art if the artist says it is. These pieces showcase his ready-made ideals, mass-produced products taking the place of traditional art. Hannah Hawk was a part of the Berlin Dada group. Many of her photo montages and collages addressed political and gender issues while critiquing the modern world and popular culture after World War I. Her collages and photo montages were often satirical as she pieced together cutouts from popular publications. During World War II, the Nazi regime banned the Dada artists from creating their political and satirical work. Hawk, however, unlike most of her contemporaries who fled from Europe during the Second World War, went to the countryside of Berlin to continue creating Dada art. Hannah Hawk's use of popular magazines and publications is also a form of appropriation, as she cut and rearranged pieces of imagery to present an artwork that reflected her feelings of the chaotic times. Her work was often ignored due to her being a woman, yet she deserves to be acknowledged as a pioneer of the Dada art movement. Dada was transported from Europe with artists like Marcel Duchamp to New York with artists like Man Ray. Man Ray, born Emmanuel Ranitsky, used a type of photography that he invented in 1923 called the rayograph to explore the irrationality of data. He continued to develop on the ideals of ready-made objects from Marcel Duchamp, and he wavered back and forth between Dada and Surrealism as he became more involved with the Surrealist movement in Paris. His photographic work is often black and white, and it emphasizes the negatives. Man Ray continued to develop Duchamp's ready-made works. With his works, like Indestructible Object and Cadeau, he used mass-produced objects and claimed them as art, just like Duchamp did. He eventually moved to Paris, where he began to delve into the world of Surrealism after Breton released the Surrealist Manifesto in 1924. Dada questioned the meaning of art, and those questions and destructions of the traditional meaning of art continue to today as we constantly reconfigure and redevelop the definition of what art truly is.